Assalamu alaikum my dear students how do you feel today my anticipation is well by the grace of almighty Allah all of you are welcome to NIVS home school this is Abir Hussain Khan assistant teacher in mathematics at day shift of national ideal English version school today I am gonna take a mathematics class for class 3 and our today's topic is geometry which is included your half early examination and your lecture is 29 now my dear students go to start our class first definition which is angle when two rays meet at a point it is called an angle when two rays meet at a point when two rays meet at a point it is called an angle so first of all you have to draw an ray here this is a ray and we know that a ray has a definite point but no definite length then you have draw another ray on this point on this point here and called this point is a this point is b and this point is c then the angle a b c is an angle and here this is the this is the angle sign so in the above figure in the above figure a b c is an angle my dear students hope you understood the definition of angle now go to the next one which is acute angle an angle whose measurement is less than 90 degree an angle whose measurement is less than 90 degree is called an acute angle so first of all similarly you have to draw an ray draw a ray this way so here is a point and here is the row so draw the another ray on this point and called this point as a this point as b and this point as c so here a b c is an acute angle in the above figure a b c is an acute angle so my dear students hope you understood the definition of angle and acute angle now go to the next one which is right angle look at the definition here an angle whose measurement is equal to 90 degree an angle whose measurement is equal to 90 degree is called a right angle so we have to draw a right angle here first of all you have to draw a ray by the similar way this is a ray so it has a definite point but no definite length then you have to use the protector my dear student this is called a protector and it is used to draw an angle with measurement so here we have to angle we have to draw an angle with 90 degree so put the protector as this way this point as this point put the protector as this point to this point and then find find out where is 90 degree here is 90 degree and denote it by a point then you have to draw another ray on this point to this point so here a b and c is called an right angle in the above figure a b c is a right angle my dear students look you again attentively how to draw a right angle first of all you have to draw a ray this way this way then put the protector on the starting point of your ray here and find out the protector or is 90 degree and denote it by a point then add this point and this point so it is called a right angle and called this is a this is b and this is c so here a b c is a right angle hope you understood what is right angle and how to draw a right angle 
Now go to the next one which is obtuse angle. An angle whose measurement is greater than 90 degree. An angle whose measurement is greater than 90 degree is called an obtuse angle. So to draw the obtuse angle first of all you have to draw an ray draw a ray by the similar way here and we know that a ray has a starting point but no definite length then draw another ray by this way by this way and call it a call it b and call it c so here angle a b c is an obtuse angle but in the definition here it is called greater than 90 degree so after using protector we can justify is it greater than or less than so similarly you have to put this point on this point here this way then find out the 90 degree and here is the 90 degree so here is the 90 degree if you draw a line from this way here is the 90 degree so angle abc is greater than 90 degree by this way so we can say the angle abc is an obtuse angle my dear students hope you understood the definition of angle obtuse angle right angle and acute angle practice it at your home more and more abide by your parents take care of yourself see you soon and till then allah peace